wrongly accused, and burned at the stake. Joan of Arc, a woman fighting with men to fulfill God's will. I am going to shine some light on the story of Joan of Arc, who she was and what she did that made the Catholic Church recognize her as a saint. I regularly attend Mass, and on May 30th, the Catholic Church will celebrate her feast day once again. Joan of Arc is one of the most well-known female saints. Through the multiple sources I have gathered, I'm going to introduce her to you. You will get to know her background, what event in history she's correlated with, and when she became recognized as a saint and why. We all have pasts. Even saints were not saints to begin with. So who was Joan of Arc? Well, according to the book Joan of Arc, Saint to keep witchcraft or epilepsy, epilepsy and behavior, growing up, Joan of Arc was the youngest of five children to former Jacobs of Arc and Isabel Remy. Presumably born in 1412 in a town of Dormery. Joan received a very simple and religious education. She experienced her first episode of hallucinations at the age of 13 in her father's garden. She described the hallucination as an external voice coming from her right and a great light. It was only after a few episodes that she supposed that the voice came from the Archangel Michael. The the hallucination started as the voice of an angel, but will not be in her favor as the story unfolds. The next step to hearing the voices for Joan was to listen to the voices. In the book, Joan of Arc, by herself and her witness, in her witness, she states that the voice told me I should make my way to Robert de Barcourt in the fortress of Vaucours, the captain of that place, and that he will give me people to go, go with me. Go with her where you might be wondering. While this 18-year-old girl, eager to do God's will, was about to go and deliver four cardinal points, which were that the English would be destroyed after Orleans had been relieved and freed of their presence, and the Dauphine would be crowned as rings, and Paris would be restored to its allegiance, and the Duke of Orleans would return to France out of captivity. Her only support on these proclamations was that she heard voices of an angel. The Duke saw her as a prophet and was Prophet that the Duke saw her as a prophet and gave her the men to go to battle. And now, poor girl, poor girl who knew not how to ride nor to lead in war would be known far and wide for her response to God's call. She answered the call and became a hero. Although she never held a sword or killed any men in battle, she, just by being there with her flag made her seem as if she was divine. After several wars won, a truce with France confirmed. Joan was captured by the Burgundian troops and held at ransom. She was eventually sold to the English for 10,000 gold coins and was tried as heretic and a witch in a trial that violated legal processes of the time. This young heroine was wrongly accused and torn down. Burned to ashes after being lit on fire three times at the stake, there were no relics to collect. It was 1452, during the investigation of Joan's execution, that the church declared a religious play in her honor at Orleans and would lead attendees to gain indulgence by making pilgrimage to the event. Pope Calcius III authorized the proceeding, which has also been called the nullification trial. This trial was meant to see if Joan's con condemnation was justly handled. And of course, at the end of the investigation, Joan received a formal appeal in, in November of 1455 and the appellate court declared Jones innocent on July 7, 1456. Joan of Arc was then seen as a symbol of the Catholic League. And in today's world, she is seen as a brave, active woman who operated within a religious tradition that believed a person of any class could receive a divine calling. On May 16, 1920, Pope Benedict XV canonized her, going down in history as Saint Joan of Arc, and she earned her ranks. Now that I have told you a little bit more about who Joan of Arc was and what she did that made her a saint in the church, it might have extended your knowledge on saints or just sparked your curiosity. Joan of Arc, a woman leading men to fulfill God's will and a patron to many across the world. The church says we are all called to live like saints. How are you going to live that out? Thank you.